Hello everyone, welcome back to Call News. So today we'll be talking about Brexit. Let's pass it on to Autumn so she can explain exactly what Brexit is. Hello, today we'll be talking about Brexit. Brexit is the idea of the UK leaving the European Union. The European Union is a political and economic union made up of 28 member states, which are primarily located in Europe. David Cameron, former Prime Minister of Britain, had originally proposed this idea, but resigned from his position when he failed to go through with it. Current Prime Minister Theresa May has had to deal with the issue of Brexit and has had to delay the final decision and even face his resignation. The leave has been delayed three times, and every time the UK claims that they are not ready. The new decision, the new deadline for the final decision has been delayed until later this year in October 31st. You can compare the situation to a marriage. There will be positive impacts of the separation, however, there will be many complications. In case you were unaware, the United Kingdom is an island nation located in North Europe, which is made up of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. On to you, Alison. Thank you, Autumn. So, you must be wondering why Brexit is even being considered. The United Kingdom wants to gain full control over its economy and immigration. This might sound like a great idea in order for Britain to gain control. However, what are the possible conflicts that face and follow this decision? Not only will the EU and Britain be affected, but the whole world will be too. But in Britain, the protections of equal pay, maternity leave, and safe workplaces could be eliminated as well as labor opportunities. And it wouldn't allow for information to be shared and they might still have to follow the EU's rules. A factor that would affect us Americans would be that we would be lost as its primary trading partner. And along the lines of trading, businesses with imports will suffer and those without will benefit. And if you are wondering how it could affect you Brits every month, well, it might cause your energy bills to rise. So, these are some common asked questions. Starting with number one. Why is Brexit dividing Britain? What is the impact on the rest of the world? Well, the UK wants to leave Britain because they want to have more rights of their own. This can affect America because of all the trading that goes on between America and the EU. And Britain decided that leaving a monetary body was much more better than having the cause and effects of free movement immigration. Number two, what are the potential effects if Prime Minister Theresa May fails to strike a deal with Parliament? There are five potential effects if they reject Theresa May's deal, which includes no deal, a new deal, general election, another referendum, or a no confidence vote. Number three, many conservatives disagree with May's version of Brexit because they believe it is too soft and does not do a good job extricating Britain from the EU's policies in trade deals and migration. What are the implications of Brexit for Britain's Immigration system. How do you think British perception of immigration and foreigners will change after it leaves the EU? Well, this will cause Britain to have more control over their immigration policies. However, the residents of the EU that live in Britain will still be protected. And they'll most likely be more selective on who they're allowing to come to Britain. Finally, number four. In a story like Brexit, why is it particularly important to get your news from multiple outlets? It's important to get different views in because due to everyone's difference in political opinions this allows you to know both arguments and helps you make the most open-minded decision thank you another common asked question is how will our relationship with britain change after brexit well the uk will be its own country so it won't be connected anymore to the eu so our relationship with them i mean we could always make more relationships and we could trade with them individually because now we trade with them but they're still a part of the eu so if they separate we could still make more trade relationships in the future and which one do we leave believe is better and why so we believe that it is not the best decision for them to leave brexit because if you think about it they have everything they need they have other necessities there they literally have the protection from the eu and if they get rid of that then they may be left with like a great depression that could happen again because they will have no more materials that the eu provides 
Our group has come to a consensus. We oppose Brexit. Its outcome is far too uncertain for us to put full trust in it, and the possible benefits are heavily outweighed by the possible detriments. Although Brexit could potentially grant the UK more freedoms regarding its economy, border law, immigration, and interactions with the EU, none of these are guarantees due to the chaos and division caused by and surrounding finalizing a Brexit plan. Energy costs may rise, or even skyrocket. Europeans living in the UK and Brits living in the EU will face relocation problems. Women's right to equal pay may be threatened, and the British economy, particularly businesses which require imports, may face problems with tariffs, which could result in an even higher level of unrest. This outcome is far too cloudy for our group, or for many in the UK, for that matter, to put our full trust in Brexit. So we know how Brexit will affect people in here in America, but how will it affect people in the UK? Well, let's hear from Abby, a girl from England. Brexit is the debate that's been happening in the European Union since June 2016. It's basically deciding whether the United Kingdom, also known as the UK, should leave the European Union, also known as the EU. If we do leave, it will be a big change for us for the future as well. Personally, I am British, so I do have an opinion on this myself. On one hand, I don't support it because if we do leave, it will be harder to book plane tickets to a place in the EU like France, Germany and the Grand Canary Islands which is normally used as a holiday type of place to go. But I do support it on one hand because then, if we do leave Article 13, also named Article 17 now, will apply to us. It will just leave us, it will, will affect us in any way so people can keep their jobs and keep doing what they do, do the most. Now let's hear from one more person from England and see her point of view on the topic. Let's pass it to Evie. Hey everyone, my name is Evie and today I'm going to be talking to you about a little bit about Brexit and my opinions on it. So, in 167 days is the time the UK is meant to leave the EU. UK, the UK voted to leave the EU on June 23rd, 2016. On March 29th, 2019 was the date the UK was meant to leave the EU. The talks between the UK and the EU started in June 2017. What happens now? Theresa May has requested a further delay to Brexit, having failed her MPs to get her deal back. If they can't agree, MPs will be offered a chance to vote on options. My opinion on Brexit is that I don't agree with it and I don't want it to happen. The reason for that is I like my country how it is and... I don't want anything to change and I think my country's perfect how it is. How was your opinion on it? Thanks for listening. That's it for the Amoeba Sisters and we remind you to stay curious. Mm-hmm.